another workout. We're gonna get started with another warm up, get us going, get the body warm. So we'll start with inch worms to a plank today. So let's come over to our mat. What we're gonna do, start on one end of it, loosening up the hamstrings. We're gonna keep the spine nice and flat. What we're gonna do, reach down for the toes, get a nice stretch, and we're gonna walk it out on our hands all the way out till we get to a plank position. Remember, we're gonna keep the spine nice and neutral, and we're also gonna keep our abs tight, keep the glutes up, and then we're gonna walk it right back in the same position, right back into place, just like this, and stand up. So we're coming right back down, we're gonna repeat the same motion. Come down, feel the core start to warm up, and then we're walking it right back into place, just like this. Again, stretching it out. Strong. Try and reach as close as you can for your feet so you can get more of that stretch. And go all the way out. And then walk it all the way back in. Perfect. So next, we're gonna do a squat and we're gonna kick out to the side. So feet are hip distance apart again. We're gonna come down into place. When we're coming up, we're gonna kick out to the side just like this. So we can feel that right there in our adductor muscle. So we'll come down, we're gonna go to the opposite side. So let's keep repeating that. Remember, activate those glutes when you're coming down nice and deep. So you feel the legs warming up. And the chest up nice and high. Abs tight. You got this. It's just a warm up. We're just getting started. One. Perfect. All right. So next, we're moving on to uh, movement here, it's more of a stretch. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lean forward onto our left leg. We'll leave the right one back just like this. We're gonna press our hips in nice and deep so we can feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Open up the hip flexor there, push the knee out a little bit. We're gonna bring our left hand down to the ground. We're gonna take our right hand, reach for the sky, open up the chest, Get, feel a nice twist in the spine, bring it back down into place, and we're gonna trade hands. We're gonna reach up nice and tall, feel another stretch into the spine. You'll feel it all through your legs as well. So we'll come back into place. We're doing the opposite side now. So forward with the right leg, pushing the knees out, right hand on the ground. Reach for the sky, open up, chest nice and tall. Press your hips down nice and deep, feel that stretch. And then coming back, opposite side. Open up this way, perfect. Spine starting to loosen up there. So let's do two more, one on each side. So here, reaching again. Out, out the side, reach. Perfect. I got a few pops out my back of that one. Side. Again, reach forward. Then press those hips nice and deep. Reach as high as far back as you can. Again. Perfect. So, should feel nice and loose in the spine area. Now, let's go ahead and do chair split jump. So, um, I'm, I have a box here, but for you at home, obviously you can use a chair if you don't have a box to jump on, but um, just be careful when doing it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place our foot here and we're gonna do basically switching our legs really quickly and in between is gonna be a hop. So it'll look like this. Basically treading your feet on the box from each side. Remember to ease yourself back down. Don't wanna be too hard on the joints. Keep the impact soft. Let's go. Just like this. Remember, keep the chest up nice and tall. Abs tight. Body should really start to be feeling warm at this point. Remember, squeeze with the glutes as you're coming down. Bounce out of the bottom, nice and soft as I'm reaching the ground. A couple more. Perfect. Like that. That's it for the warm up. So let's go ahead and get started with our exercise. So for 30 seconds each round. Let's start with our band. What we're gonna do is an external rotation. So I'm gonna hook my handles on here. I'm gonna step on the band, just like this. I'm gonna reach forward. I'm gonna keep my elbows nice and high 
and I'm gonna rotate straight up with it just like this. Try to hold the elbows even with your shoulders as you do it. Make sure it looks just like that when you rotate. So we'll do it same time, both sides, 30 seconds. Let's go. Up. Ooh. This is one that burns. We'll hold it up. This is great for people with shoulder mobility issues. Anybody who has maybe impingement. Remember, keep the abs nice and tight. You're doing great. Perfect. Keep squeezing for the last 10 seconds. We got it. Elbows nice and high. Make sure it's just a rotation and we're not moving our arms too much. Time. Great job. So, we're gonna move on to an overhead squat. For this one, I'm gonna remove my handles just so they're not slapping around while I'm doing this movement. We're gonna hold it. What I do is I usually lace the band around my hand just like this. I'm gonna open it up so I feel some resistance against my arms as it's trying to pull my shoulders together. So I'm gonna hold it nice and high above my head. We're coming down for a deep squat. So overhead squat, let's do it. We come down nice and deep. Remember, press those knees out and drive through the heels as you come up. The band, you should feel the resistance pulling together, but resist it and hold it out nice and high here. Keep the chest open. So 30 seconds. Down nice and deep. Remember, we're driving through the heels. Nice, steady tempo. Squeeze the quads. Activate the glutes at the bottom. Make sure you're passing up your knees. Looking good. Feel my quads burning now. Just a few more. Keep it going. Nice, steady tempo. Don't slow down on me yet. We got this. Done. Perfect. Now, we're gonna do dips, working the back of the arms, but also we'll add a leg extension to it. We'll be switching and alternating between each leg. Remember, you can use your chair at home for this same exercise. I'm gonna put my hands here onto my box, coming forward as if I'm in a seated position. Chest is up nice and tall. As I come down, I'm gonna extend my right leg, and then I'm gonna alternate to the other as I come down. So let's do it, 30 seconds, each leg. Go, down. Each one. Perfect. Try and hold your elbows in the same place as you do it. Try not to lean too forward or go too far back. Feel my triceps burning with that one. You're doing good. Keep it up. Right, hold that leg out nice and high. Abs tight. Stick with me. A few more seconds. You got it. All right, for the next one, we're gonna do dead bug. So we're coming down to the ground and we're gonna be lying on our backs for this one. Be laying nice and flat. Here, what I'm gonna do is bring my knees to a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna have my hands here as well. What I'm doing is alternating with each leg and arm extending outward. So I'm coming out this way and then doing the same thing with the opposite. Keep the core engaged the entire time. Remember not to strain the neck when we do this one. All right, let's do it. Arms up, legs up, abs tight. Remember to alternate. Relax the neck, not strain it too much. Perfect, keep it up. Remember, nice steady breathing. Don't stop. Work through the burn. It's a good burn. Almost there for a few more seconds. Remember, don't let those feet drop. And time. Perfect. All right. We're gonna flip this over and we're gonna go into superheroes is what I like to call them. Some people know them as supermans, but I modify it a little bit. I'm gonna lie on our stomach this way. I'm gonna extend my arms out forward. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try and lift our quads and our chest up off of the ground, and then we're gonna open it up, just like starfish is what I call it. So we'll be here, we're gonna open up completely this way, bring it back together, and then down. All right, so working lower back, glutes, hamstring, you feel it all, so let's do it. Extend, 30 seconds, go. Up, 
out, back in, and down. Repeat the same motion. Keep going. Remember, nice, steady tempo. You can do them quicker. Do it. Keep the intensity that works for you. Really feel those glutes activate. Remember, you want those quads off the ground. Try and get your chest up off too. You want just the soft part of your body on the ground. Perfect. Keep going. And that's it. Perfect. All right. For the last one, let's work a little core and some more upper body for the chest. So, we're gonna do a push up with the knee tuck. We're gonna alternate with each one. So, holding ourselves in a plank position. What I'm gonna do is come down from my push up. I'm gonna press right up. And when I press up, my right knee, left knee is gonna tuck. But notice when I tuck, that my spine still stays in the same place. I don't want it to curve on me. So just bring your knee where it's comfortable, where you're squeezing the abs while you do it, okay? So let's do it. 30 seconds, let's go. So down, push up, knee tuck, each side, down. Remember, keep your chin up nice and high when you come down for the push up. That way you can get down nice and deep. Feel the chest. Make sure your hands stay even with your chest. Don't let them go too high. You don't want to just do shoulders. Core nice and tight. You got it, keep it up. Last one, guys. Push, knee tuck. Squeeze, last one. There we go. Good. Done. All right, so last exercise. Let's grab our band again. We're gonna do shoulder press. It's gonna be overhead. So I'm gonna put my feet just square apart here. Putting the band, flipping it behind my elbows here. Hands are gonna be forward. So what I'm doing, pressing up overhead, bring it right back down. When your elbows start to pass your shoulders, that's when you wanna bring it back up here. All right, remember, keep your abs tight. Stand up nice and tall. Let's do it, 30 seconds, let's go. Press, pick up, press. Try to hold it for one second at the top, hold it for one second at the bottom. Nice, steady tempo. Abs should be tight, remember, keep the spine nice, nice and straight. You're doing good, keep it up. I know it's burning, we're almost there. Abs tight, we got this. Feel the shoulders burn. Press. Stick with me. Squeeze. Perfect. Good job. Whew, that was a rough workout, but thanks for sticking with me. Remember, if you want to challenge yourself even more, you can run through all these exercises one more time. Really, really push it hard. Thank you so much for joining me and see you next time.